developing a complex new product, such as an aircraft, is very challenging. And quite often, that results in delays. And that's been the case here. We have uh, partners in nearly 40, for nearly 40 partners across the world who contribute uh, to the 787's uh, production system. Uh, the fuselage elements uh, of the airplane are constructed uh, by our major volume suppliers around the world and transported here for final assembly. Airplanes on this production line are cycling every 10 days, moving from one position to another. And as we progress, we'll shorten that duration to eventually, where throughout the production system, we'll be delivering at a rate of 10 wide-body airplanes a month. We're on the main deck of the fifth of six flight test aircraft in the 787 flight test program. As you look down the fuselage of the airplane, you see a number of uh, equipment racks in the middle of the airplane. That's where the instrumentation is located that measures performance during flight, from uh, engine performance to flight control performance to performance of the environmental control system, uh, the fuel system, all of the major systems and structural elements. These water barrels are actually used to shift weight around on the airplane. So in one flight, we're able to simulate a wide range of weight and center of gravity conditions uh, for testing. During flight, we may have anywhere from 15 to 30 flight test engineers on board monitoring the operation of the airplane. There are many innovations in the 787, from the extensive use of composite materials to the extensive use of advanced systems uh, such as uh, power systems and for the wiring, larger displays, more extensive use of software to control the power system. However, we designed the airplane in such a way that it flies just like a 777 in order to facilitate that common type certification for our airline customers' pilots.